Hi guys, don't mind my dark room or my messy bed, but today I just wanted to do a video on how I got my cat Boots. So we got Boots when he was a kitten, like a few weeks old actually, and this person had dropped off Boots in a little carrier onto someone's doorstep, but they couldn't take care of him, so of course they posted on Instagram that they had a cat they can't take care of because they said that they would have taken care of him, but they had multiple dogs that didn't like boots or anything. So my mom, seeing that, she decided to get boots. He was totally free. So yeah, that's totally, well, that's basically um how we got him for that. But when we got him, we realized that he had a lot of problems. He had lots and lots of ticks, lots of fleas. He had um, heartworm. He had a lot of different issues. And with all these different issues, um, he would have died within a few months. So I'm really glad that we got him. But, even though he had all these issues, we still wanted to take care of him. So, my mom brought him to the vet, and they gave us lots and lots of um, different medicines and stuff to take care of him. They gave him a few shots. And so, after a few weeks or so, he was recovering pretty nicely. And, once he was fully recovered... He was maybe two months old. Um, he still wasn't his full size yet, but yeah. So now let's talk about his life before we got him. So I'm sorry you can't see him very well, but um, before we got him, he was a feral cat separated from his mother. Um, we don't know if he had brothers or siblings, but we're assuming he did, because cats usually have a litter of 5 to 10, so, yeah. Um, so yeah, he was a feral cat, and he would live on the streets, and the person who had previously, previously owned him before they gave him to the person who posted... Um, that they had him on Instagram. That person, um, was not very caring for Boots. They would, um, sort of abuse him. They wouldn't feed him. They wouldn't do anything for him. He lived outside. But they called him their own. And... So that's what makes me sad, that they called him their own so nobody else could take care of him, but they weren't taking care of him. And though he's a feral, you'd be like, since he's a feral, it's like, oh yeah, he's fine, he can live outside. No, he was declawed, and he still is. Um, So he couldn't defend himself. If, say, a coyote came up to him, then it would just be over. He could still climb trees pretty well, so I'm not... I mean, because he still has his back claws. But he couldn't really defend himself. So, yeah. When we got him, we realized that he was declawed, and that made us kind of sad. Because all our cats are declawed, actually. We have three cats, and they're all declawed. Because before we got them, they were declawed. But I wouldn't, if they weren't declawed, we would not have, we wouldn't declaw them. Because that's not fair. If you have a cat and they have claws, do not declaw them. That's just not fair. They can be trained to not claw you. So, or your furniture. And, of course, you can get them a scratching post. So, of course, you can get them a scratching post to claw on. Just don't declaw them. It's not fair. It's like, if you have a pet skunk. It's not fair to, um, descent them. So, don't declaw them. But, um, 
Yeah. So that's basically how we got our cat boots. Um, it's actually pretty sad because if we didn't take care of him, he would have died, as I had mentioned earlier. We take really good care of him right now, though my mom doesn't know a lot about taking care of cats. I mean, I don't blame her because most people don't. They think that they're really easy to take care of and there's nothing that you have to do for them. So that's why we don't have wall ledges. But, um, of course, I did my research on every pet we own. So we're going to get wall ledges soon. That way, they can have the wall ledges that they need. And we're going to get them scratching posts. Even though they don't have claws, they still like to paw up on things. So we're going to get them that. And more hideouts. And they have a really small litter box. It's like a um, standard size cat litter box. But that's actually way too small for cats. So we're going to get them um, a dog size litter box. Um, so yeah. That's how we got boots. Now we do have dogs now. But they don't bother our cats. Sometimes they will um, come up to boots. Sometimes like my dog Jello. Um, she's a Doberman, and she's still a puppy. She's about a year old. She will sometimes come up and, like, put her nose up to Boots' face, and he'll, like, paw at her nose. It doesn't hurt either one of them. It just annoys him a bit. <laughs> but, of course, I don't let her do that. I'll always, like, separate them when I see that happening. So, yeah. Um, that's basically just how we got Boots. If you have any questions, please comment down below. I do respond to the comments. If it's like a question or something that I could respond to, I do respond. So, yeah, and please subscribe, turn on notifications. That would seriously mean the world to me. I know I that every video, but, um, yeah, I would... I would be really, really happy if you subscribe and comment down below. So thank you so, so much for watching. You tell us this bye. Bye.